What's up guys? This is a brand new um, series, kind of. It's going to be infinite, basically. And what I mean by that is there's going to be no um, exact path of the series. It's just going to be basically me playing out my mates and doing some PvP and PvE, doing some like boss fights, doing some dino fights, which I'll explain later as to what that means exactly. Um, other than your typical dino fights you might engage in on that. We're on Valgero, or Valgera, however you pronounce it, the new map that's been added to Art recently, although it's kind of old, it's been around on the mod store for ages, um, I see it about a year ago or so I think. It's pretty cool, it's, actually I say pretty cool, it's my favourite map by far, I've, my mind's been blown by it, it's amazing, I absolutely love it. But yeah, that's the map. It's PvP, PvE. I'll explain all that in a minute. I've got to bring you up to date. That's why I'm facing this way at the minute. Because um, this was originally just a server I was playing on in my spare time with my mates. And um, due to a decision I made this week, check out the vlog. It should be out now um, explaining uh, what's going on. As in, like, there's a little channel update. I don't want to go into it. Um, it's nothing bad or anything like that. But go check it out if you're interested. This is now replacing my farm simulator on a Wednesday. So every Wednesday this new series will be out um, but enough of just floating around chatting like this there's my base um, this is taking me about three or four days to build I wasn't planning on this being in anything on YouTube or you know I would have probably took some screenshots and put it on my Instagram or my Facebook pages and stuff but this was just something I built in my own time it was just something to do when I'm not recording or I'm not at work um, I had no idea how it was going to turn out, I just sort of went with the wind and that's what we ended up with. It's got loads of lights all over it, it lights up like a Christmas tree at night, it looks really cool. Um, so I'll show it you more at night time and I'll give you a tour of like the inside and everything and show you what I've got going on. It started as that castle wall and then it progressed into <laughs> to that. I was trying to mix it with the glass and end up this massive tower. And yeah, there is a mannequin on the top that looks like my character. I'll show you around that when it lights up at night because it looks amazing. That's when it's um, at its best. I'll start heading to where um, I can explain properly the PvP idea. But like I said, it's PvP PvE. Um, if you've watched some of my old um, ARC stuff on my server with the Dynacologists, which is who I'm still playing with, my mates. You know, we was all in one big tribe. I had my own base, but just to build for YouTube, basically. But we had our own base, like one big base together. And that's how we've always done it. We wanted to do more PvP, we've always done a bit of PvP in um, other servers, but it just gets frustrating, you know, you never really get to do proper PvP, and this sent me moaning, I love PvP on Ark by the way, but it's just like, sometimes you don't really do any PvP, you just sort of log on and you've been raided, or someone's tried to raid you, you don't really get to do anything, everyone does everything offline. Um, so we wanted to have a bit more of a, a hands-on type thing where we could do PvP whenever we wanted and play with a bunch of people who had the same idea, as well as then grouping up to do the boss fights and stuff. So we've had to make an alliance, we're all in our own tribe, so I'm on my own, my mates are all on their own, um, we're all individual, and then we've joined an alliance called PvRe, and then we're going to go and do um, boss fights together. Or, like, we've helped each other tame Quetzals and stuff like that. And then when we want to PvP, we just leave the Alliance. If I bump into one of my mates whatever in the forest, I'll leave the Alliance without saying anything and we can start sniping each other or whatever. Obviously, if we're not trying to tame anything, we don't want to, like, completely uh, ruin people's gameplay or whatever. But that's the idea. And on top of that, we've got things like this. Um, you might be wondering what it is. It's just a big building. It is. It started off as that bit in the middle. My mate Jamie built all this. Um, and you can see down there, one foundation there, one foundation on the right with a, a box on each one. They contain items, which is just, um, at the minute, just a long neck rifle and a shotgun each with a load of ammo. Um, you're not allowed any armour on. You go in naked. You, we pick a gun at the start. We also are going to use a long neck rifle and you go inside there, which is basically a deathmatch arena. So uh, I'll land down here. So you get your gun out, whatever you decide, whatever we decide we're going to fight with, could be anything, and then we all start. And this is what you run into. Basically, an absolute maze. It really reminds me of like Doom or something like that. The way it all looks. And my mate should be designing levels for games. This is nuts. Look at it. And um, you got all these little window. Well, that's glass. That is. It's like you can't go through it. It's solid glass. And you got little half walls like this. You've got ones with no top on, so you can like jump and shoot. You got the glass floor, like this. Look, you got the little like half wall. You can jump up and shoot over it, and you just genuine. Um, generally, you just run around here, get lost, 
run into each other, try and kill each other. Like I said, you've got no armor on. All the weapons are ascendant weapons, ascendant shotgun, long neck rifles. I guess we're gonna have like machine guns and pistols and stuff eventually in there as well. Um, but as you can tell, it all just looks so similar. Like you've got no idea where you are. That's a dead end. There's loads of dead ends and stuff in here. That's the way out. You're not allowed out when we're starting. You have to stay within in the walls in here. And it's basically last man standing. Um, my mate was on about doing some sort of reward for the winner and stuff eventually, but we don't really mind. It's kind of fun just playing like this anyway. Um, let me get back down here. There is a door out of here somewhere. No, that's a dead end. Oh my god. This is what I mean. It's insane. This way? Yeah, there we go. Oh, different door to what I come in. But yeah, that's the idea of that one. Um, and that's what we want to do. Little things like that. Little challenges as well. Like um, we've got a dino arena, which I'll fly to and show you now. Because my mate Jamie built that as well. And it looks awesome. It's really, really cool. Looks like a proper amphitheater thing. Where is my pterodon? Oh, he's around this side. And the idea of that arena is we're going to go and have a challenge of like, go find a Spinosaur and meet back at the arena and... You know, you've got so long to get a Spino and sort it out how you want it with like stats and stuff, and then you've got to um, fight in the arena. And basically, like Pokemon, that's basically it. Um, we're going to do some other challenges as well, like maybe like a breeding challenge, I think would be cool. So you, we all go and breed something, and then you bring your best um, dino that you've bred over to the arena and see who made the best dino for, for the arena fighting. Um, so that's pretty cool, and I'll show you it once I get here. And just down here is the arena I was talking about. Super cool, nice and simple. And then you fly down here and look at the pillars. It's got like the boss heads on, on each pillar. <laughs> yeah, that's a doorbell on the behemoth gate. Uh, you got the old seat in here. But really cool. I think it looks awesome. It's like nice and simple and looks really good. And like I said, we're going to bring the dinos over here and have like little dino battles. I think it will be really cool as well to build a. Um, water arena so we can fight the water dinos and also I want to build some PvP rafts to fight each other on rafts I think that would be kind of cool and interesting also on the map um, on this map there's like destroyed ruins and stuff everywhere and one in particular is like an old town or an old um, city it's up in the chalk hills at the back and um, I want to try and rebuild some of the buildings and that or like finish them up like complete them with you know the stone walls and stuff and then wall in the city again and make it like a giant call of duty map i think that would be kind of cool um but yeah that's basically what we're doing on the server like i said it's pvp pve we're going to join together as an alliance to the the pve stuff like the boss raids and help tame stuff if we need to and then we're going to leave the alliance to the pvp stuff and the little pvp challenges and just generally fight each other i've also got another base which i can't show you i can't remember if i mentioned it at the start of the video which is hidden it's a pvp base and as soon as they find it obviously i'll be online because we're doing no offline raiding and um hopefully i can defend it and show the defense of it and then i'll be able to show you the um location and the, the build um, but this is my main PvE base, that's why there's no turrets on it or nothing like that. And like I said, this is all going to be enclosed. And that island's going to be enclosed and have the um, dino pens on and the breeding area. Then I'm going to build a bridge from that peninsula over to that archway just to finish it off. I think that'll look pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and put Terence back in there now in the uh, Avery area and I'll bring you back when it's night time and show you the base in all its glory and give you a full tour of the inside and uh, show you my mannequin up close at night because he's all lit up. I'm back! There you go, look at it. What do you reckon? Oh boy, I love the lights and it looks awesome. Uh, Ray Ray looking cool in the lights and the uh, rare rhino. And uh, my mammoth I haven't named yet. So yeah, this is the base. Like I said, at night, I want to show it you at night because I think that's when it looks best with all the lights and stuff. This is how it started, was with these walls along the bottom. It was stone, none of that tower existed, and it evolved into that. But yeah, this is it. Got the uh, flags on the go there, the stronghold, and the uh, Moshman game signs. Let me turn that off because that writing's annoying. Um, but yeah, this, this annoys my brother that that's not in line <laughs> as you walk in the door not banging line but it couldn't be because of the way the uh, floor is laid out these are just the plant commanders i just got them for decoration i ain't got no plant x's 
and these are some of my um, plants which are just there for decoration more than anything. Um, you can keep seeing right at the top from that mod, it keeps giving you updates. Uh, here's my little garden. Um, these are just planted just to see what they would do because I was wanted to see what they look like so I could plant them up in the top of the hut which I'll show you in a minute. They actually look pretty cool. Um, and again, these are mushrooms. I got. I managed to grow these using another mod. You put the mushrooms in this little bench and you can turn the mushrooms into the seeds and plant the seeds and get your mushrooms. That's a miniature redwood tree. That's from Sap. <laughs> and there's a medium uh, redwood tree. And that's some silk. That's a silk bush, believe it or not, which is pretty cool. Got my um, honey bee hive set up down here, which also irrigating all my crops down here and upstairs. And just there, which might have just blinded you, is a phoenix. Um, I don't know how well you can see him because uh, he's super bright. Uh, he's painted white, which is why he's gone that bright, but they're pretty bright anyway. But um, I'll show him in another episode anyway, and I'll paint him a colour so we can actually see him. And let's go for a little run around the walls. And that's the tour of the walls. <laughs> uh, like I said, that's what this started with, and then I ended up deciding I was going to build it with glass and give it a bit of a different look. But yeah, that's the outside. This was the original hut. Um, these are all my original um, vaults and stuff. And then obviously I started building upwards. And this elevator shaft is actually enclosed, and it's um, one way glass, so you can see out, but you can't see in. And the external wall is um, just tinted so you can see in and out but I might make it perfectly clear so that it gives the illusion of this holding the entire tower up which I think might look cool I didn't actually show the view did I? I mean you might have got an idea from the, um, the start of the video but uh, I'll show it in the daytime anyway I'll show you the view out of the main hut this is my um, Hanger at the top of my Quetz and Daenerys, my uh, Ice Wyvern, looking cool and all lit up with all the lights. There's Terence, and these are just two behemoth gates, and there's no balcony if you open out, you fall out. <laughs> um, and the top's just hollow, I'll take you up there in a bit to show you the outside anyway, to, you know, so you can see the entire tower in it, all its glory with all the lights on. But this is my main hut of all my funky carpets, some more um, Plant X things as decoration, my drum kit. Nice little table and chairs for if, um, <laughs> I don't know why we'd have anyone round, but whatever, it's part of the furniture. Uh, that's a kibble station. This is the um, seed maker, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the gardening station, which is what I was talking about at the bottom of the tower, where you can put like sap in there, for example, and it will give you a um, seed for a redwood tree, which you can plant. Um, these look really cool, these uh, taxidermy, I mean, that's just a parasol which I actually think looks pretty good. Um, I just got that one because I was seeing what it would look like, that's the small platform for it. Probably have another one that side or whatever, I don't know yet. Here's my little dog, Puglet. Look at her. Oh, so cute. Uh, but yeah, I like Puglet, she's cool. Um, here's my crafting area, got all the normal stuff you'd expect, all my blueprints and stuff. Uh, attach my little AA cauldron to the chemistry bench because I think it just looks cool together like that. Another feeding trough just to make sure everything's getting fed properly. Giant grinder because I couldn't find a mini one. I think there is a mini one, but I kind of like the big one. Uh, again, that's just for decoration. That one, just my beds and stuff. And then if we come out here, here's the main little. Deck got some barbecues out here just for decoration really. Obviously I can come and cook my meat out here. And a load of tables just for effect. And then this just goes all the way around. These are literally just for decoration. I don't bother harvesting them. I just collect stuff from down the bottom when I want stuff. But that's basically it. Um, but the lighting, I love the lighting. They're just um, changed with the light, lighting guns. You can change the colours and the intensity and stuff. But I'll go back up to here and I'll jump on Terence and I'll show you the outside. And there it is. Looking pretty cool in all the lighting. 
Um, what do you reckon? Give it a mark out of 10. Leave a mark in the comments. And let me know. Um, I wasn't, like I said at the start, I wasn't planning on recording on here. This is just something I was doing in my spare time and it just evolved into what it is. Just got a bit creative with it. Just thought I'd go with the flow and see what come out of it and that's what did come out of it. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's definitely the best base I've ever built personally. Probably not much compared to some of the bases that you can see on YouTube and things. But nevertheless, I'm pretty happy with it. And here's my giant mannequin on the reef, which is uh, an idea I stole from my brother and my mate. Uh, my mate's got one right on his roof and the giant afro, it looks hilarious when you fly past it and don't realise it was there. It's pretty cool. But yeah, that's the night time view. I'm pretty happy with it. And just quickly before I go, I thought I'd show you the view in the daytime because I didn't actually show you it. This is why I um, built it where I did and to the height I have so you can get that view. I think it looks absolutely awesome. It's not quite fully daylight yet, but you can see it there looking really cool. Um, and obviously the hut looks pretty cool in the daylight as well because it's so open. If I come out and you can really see it. looks absolutely insane. Absolutely love it. Really, really cool. And um, yeah, that's the uh, base. That's the hut. That's what I've been doing the last few days. This is what I was doing in my spare time, like I said. So this is going to be a regular thing now. Um, there'll be recordings from this server and, and from the uh, adventures we get up to on here. I love that view. I can't get over how good it is, especially the lighting. That looks amazing. But yeah, like I said, it's um, on Valgero, or Valgero, however you pronounce it. It's PvP and PvE. Um, we're going to be raiding each other's bases, doing the deathmatch arena, doing the dino arenas, raiding bosses, taming stuff together. Just generally having a good time on it. And um, yeah, welcome along to the adventure, basically. Like I said, there's going to be no storyline. It could be anything, any week. You never know what's going to happen. mix of... Like I said, the PvP and PvE stuff, as well as building, um, farming relics, and all that cool stuff. And I'm going to chuck in some random bonus episodes randomly on occasional weeks. Just doing breakdowns of the mods we're using, like the Rare Finds mod that's really, really cool. I'm really enjoying looking for that minute. It's basically put... <laughs> it gives it like a Pokemon vote that you run around trying to catch different dinos with weird little quirks to them. But yeah, I'll do some videos uh, breaking down the mods like that anyway. But that's enough waffling on. I don't want to be on it forever. Just a quick little introduction. I hope you like the idea behind what we're doing on here. And I hope you look forward to the, the series that's going to come of it. Like I said, it'll be infinite basically. For as long as this server's up and running on this map, this that's as long as the series will go. Um, and when we change map or change server, oh it's just got real foggy, then maybe I'll um, reset the, the um, series kind of thing. We'll have series 2 of the infinite series. <laughs> it wouldn't really be infinite then would it, but you know what I mean. If you want to check out the vlog that should be up on the channel, it'll explain why this has replaced the farming simulator on a Wednesday. Um, and it just saves me going to it in this video really, if you're interested. If not, don't worry. But yeah, this will be out every Wednesday now, and uh, on a Sunday it will still be the Story of Ark, my single player series where I'm trying to play through the game and work out what the Story of Ark is, because although I've played this game for so long, I don't really know the story. And I, I thought I could just look it up, couldn't I? But I think it would be fun to try and work it out for myself and then compare and see how wrong I am. <laughs> or whether I'm right, who knows. But yeah, that's it guys, hope you've enjoyed it, hope you like my hut. Like I said, my hut, my tower, whatever you want to call it, my base. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Give it a rating out of 10. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Can't wait to uh, start the adventure on here. So, I hope you look forward to it too. See you soon.